Hello students, today we will study the poem Nor Mar Not Marble Nor the Gilded Monuments written by William Shakespeare. This is a this poem is written in the form of sonnet as we have already discussed that sonnet is a short poem of 14 lines and Shakespeare invented the new form of sonnets he divided the sonnets in, into th three quatrain and one couplet so this poem is a sonnet and always there is a problem and there is a solution in a sonnet so if we talk about uh, if we talk about particularly about this sonnet then the theme of the sonnet is that he tries to immortalize his beloved through writing this sonnet as the title suggests nor marble nor the gilded monuments that neither marble nor gilded means gold plated covered with gold the statues or the buildings or the monuments which are covered with with the gold cannot make the princes or the kings who made them immortal everything is mortal in this world everything will end nothing is everlasting uh, he talk about the Mar, which is the god of war and war brings destruction and destroys everything every civilization war, every civilization was destroyed with the passage of time and time is the greatest enemy of things which automatically destroys uh, each and every powerful and mighty thing that is either any powerful and mighty king or any monument mon monument made by him any building everything is destroyed with a passage of time either the cause is war or any other misery or by fire but the final result is that everything decay and decline with the passage of time but he says that as he has written this poem in the praise of his beloved and through this poem he has mortalized his friend his friend will never destroyed even the death cannot destroy him or and his because he has written this verse to immortalize his friend as he has mentioned about his friend as he has praised the beauty of his friend through this poetry so his friend will be alive till the day of judgment let us begin the explanation of the poem nor i am going to recite the poem first nor marble not marble nor the gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme but you shall shine more bright in this contest than unswept stone besmeared with sluttish time first of all let's see the typical words of this quatrain quatrain is a short stanza of four line in a sonnet so first of all there is a word gilded gilded here means something which is covered with gold there is a plate of 
गोल्ड देन कंटेंट्स कंटेंट्स हेयर मीन्स दिस पोइट्री अनस्वेप्ट स्टोन बिस्मेयर्ड हेयर मीन्स डर्टी स्टेच्यूज मेड ऑफ स्टोन स्लटिश टाइम स्लटिश टाइम हेयर मीन्स स्लटिश इज अ एडजेक्टिव गिवन टू टाइम स्लटिश मीन्स डर्टी और क्रूअल सो हेयर Uh, let us begin the explanation of the first quatrain nor mar marble nor the gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme here the poet says that the neither the marble marble is a stone precious stone a type of precious stone nor the gilded monuments gilded here means plated with gold covered with gold the monuments which are made of marble or which are plated with gold of princes of uh, the king and the prince who made the huge buildings like as for example taj mahal amir fort like many other buildings which are made by the powerful kings to in order to immortalize themselves shall outlive this powerful rhyme these monuments will not live longer than this powerful rhyme this longer than this poem as the as long as the poetry is read by the people it it remain alive but you still shine more bright in these contents than unswept stone besmeared with sluttish time here it means that you means the friend of the poet he addresses says him and says that you will shine much more brighter through this content content means um this poetry as he has described his friend in his poetry so his friend will much more shine or live longer than the monuments made by the powerful kings and prince then unswept stone besmeared it means the dirty stones uh, which will be destroyed with the passage of time time which is very cruel or dirty um, here the time is referred as dirty or all um, cruel because time does not spare anything he does not show any mercy because everything destroys with the passage of time so this is all about the first quatrain of the famous sonnet not marble nor the gilded monuments